Good morning, everybody. I hope everyone had a great Monday, is having a great Monday, and had a nice weekend. Alex and I are going to be reading Beetle McGrady Eats Bugs by Jane Manning. Ready to read? We're going to help me. All right. Okay, I gotta scoot close. Sorry, Bob. All right, Beetle McGrady had a taste for adventure. She wanted to brave bears. Let's see if so you can see it. All right, guys. Had a taste for adventure. She wanted to brave bears. Like Laura Ingalls Wilder, she wanted to sail oceans like Marco Polo. She wanted to zoom through skies like Amelia Earhart. She dreamed of being a real explorer, a true pioneer. Then came fun with food, wheat, and Mr. Wrigley's science class, and the ant. On Monday, Table 6 made a food pyramid. Lacey cut out magazine pictures of artichokes. Roger drew cheese. Mona glued oatmeal cookies under cereals and stuck a juice box next to fruit. Beetle found a hot dog, a hamburger, and an ant. An ant? She could be a real explorer, a true pioneer. She, Beetle McGrady, would start her very own food group. Food group number six, bugs. Beetle reached to paste an ant from the top of the pyramid, but she dropped it. Ick, there's an ant on my artichoke, yelled Lacey. Ew, said Roger. A bug is not food, said Mona. It says here, people in Australia and Argentina eat ants for protein, Beetle said. I bet they even eat ants as far away as Antarctica. All right. Uh, does it say there, stay away from Antarctica, asked Mona. I would eat an ant in yeah. a second, said Beetle. Prove it, said Lacey. Prove it, said Roger. Uh-oh, said Mona. Uh-oh. So uh, there's Lacey, Roger, and Mona. Ah. Right? Time to play Antarctica. Ah. Oh, I'll find the ant, said Roger, crawling through the grass. I can't watch, said Mona. She put on her sunglasses. Pioneers ate boiled locusts. Explorers ate worms. Even Laura Ingalls Wilder ate cricket pie. But suddenly, Beetle McGrady did not feel like a brave explorer. She did not feel like a daring pioneer. I'm not hungry. Beetle blurted. I already had lunch. Dare, double dare, she said, Roger. Not today. Beetle told them tomorrow at 1.07 p.m. on Tuesday. She, Beetle McGrady, would eat an ant. Uh-oh. Eating ants is not always good. But she's teaching us about history, so that's nice. Beetle practiced her ant eating on potato chips, crunch. She practiced on raisins, squish. But potato chips did not crawl, and raisins did not have legs. You have so good hands. The next day at recess, Lacey was first to catch an honest-to-goodness member of food group, number six. Beetle took itchy, twitchy, bubbly, wiggly ant on the tip of her tongue. The ant was tickly. The ant was creepy. The ant was crawly. Beetle. A for Aunt Eater McGrady. All she had to do was swallow one tiny, teeny gulp. <laughs> Beetle spit out the ant. Beetle cannot eat, can't eat an ant. Beetle can't eat an ant, Lacey and Roger chanted. She, Beetle McGrady, was an explorer. She was not a pioneer. She was not even a beetle for an Aunt Eater McGrady. Don't feel bad, said Mona. She wants to be best friends with an Aunt Eater. Fun with food week was not so fun anymore. On Wednesday, Beetle's whole class made up a recipe for rattlesnake yeah. stew, except Beetle. Beetle. Mr. Wrigley told them about 2,000 pound popcorn ball. Beetle did not even raise an eyebrow. And when table six conducted an experiment on bubble gum, Beetle just chewed on her pencil. Beetle, don't you want to chew gum in school? Said Aspon. Mona, said Beetle, I'm writing a poem. It's called The Ant Not Eaten. Oh, no, you're still thinking about that ant. I want to be brave, said Beetle. I'm about as brave as a mealworm. A mealworm is not an explorer. A mealworm is not a pioneer. 
Aww. On Thursday, Mr. Wrigley announced, today we're going to explore new foods. We all explored a chickpea sandwich named Falafel. Roger called it awful, awful. She ate the food of pilgrims, corn with lima beans. Sasquatch gives you a rash, said Lacey. Beetle even tasted Japanese fish eggs and Chinese bird's nest soup. Fish eggs smell like an art project, said Mona, and bird nests look like cow hair. She put on her sunglasses. Mr. Wrigley says, people ask their lives to get, people risk their lives to get nests from caves, said Beetle. Mr. Wrigley says that they are made of stiff, said Mona. It was no use. Falafel was not an ant, Sasquatch was not an ant, and a bird's nest soup did not make her Marco Polo. Bird's nest soup just made her a spit here. <clears throat> Finally, it was Friday. A very special visitor came to class. Second grade, said Mr. Wrigley. Say hello to she uh, Chef Suzanne from the famous restaurant Ches Chenille. Chef Suzanne unpacked dish after delicious smelling fish. What's under those lids? Beetle whispered. Ta da! Chef Suzanne uncovered the first plate. All the bugs you can eat. She picked up a Tosh Cricket, popped it in her mouth, crunch, and ate it. Glub. The class buzzed like bees. Ick, what? Ew, yuck, sicko. Good job, buddy. Today we have Chinese chopped suey ants, said she, Chef Suzanne. Mexican stink bug salsa, cricket pizza from Brazil, even super crunched chocolate chip cookies. Beetle eyed the stink bugs, the smelliest of smellies, tree worm spaghetti, the scorpion and squirmies, grasshopper tacos, the, ugly, the blugliest, but something smelled good, like bacon frying, like sweet scrambled eggs. Beetle picked up a black witch moth cafe. Beetle dangled the fried caterpillar in the front of her nose. She set the caterpillar on her tongue. She rolled it around in her mouth. It was the awfulest of all the awfuls, the cow hairiest of all cow hair, worse than spit. Pilots had, had to eat caterpillars when their planes crashed. Beetle closed her eyes. She was Amelia Earhart on a desert island. Crunch, 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 glug. Beetle McGrady's eyes rolled up. Her tongue lolled out, and Beetle McGrady flopped to the floor. Kidding, Beetle jumped with a smile. Caterpillars taste like corn chips. Munch, stink bugs taste like apples. Crunch, crickets taste like nuts. Yuck, there's a cricket leg stuck in your too, said Lacey. Gross, bug butts and bug guts, yelled Roger. Can we still have cookies if we don't eat any bugs? Asked Mona. Sure, pass them around, said Chef Suzanne. Munch, crunch, the cookies were extra gooey, extra crunchy. It's the chips, said Mona. It's the nuts, said Roger. It's the mealworm, said Chef Suzanne. Roger ran for the bathroom. Lacey dashed to the trash can. Uh, oh, said Mona. Eating mealworms makes you brave. Beetle told her she showered her friend just how to dunk a mealworm cookie into okay. caterpillar fungus. Yeah, that's what I think. Look at there's Beetle Alex on top of the world. Yeah, yeah. 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 Beetle, A for Ant Eater McGrady, sipped uh, and slurped her way around the world in seven oh, bites, yeah. like an explorer, a true pioneer. And for desert, one dozen honeypot ants. Today, ants, tomorrow. Antarctica, said Beetle. Crunch, crunch, lug. How fun. All right. So that was Beetle McGrady eats bugs. <coughs> did we like it? I did. Thank you for your help. High five. Ready? Good job, bud. All right. Thank you guys so much. And we will see you at one o'clock for story time with Teacher Gabe. Say bye. Bye. Good job, bud. Okay, let me end it.